Good evening. Um, this is Deanna with Deanna's Creations. I've had several people request me to do a video on how I paint my fish um, to create a 3D illusion. I've never done a video before, so if this is a little wonky, I do apologize. Hopefully, I'll get better in time. Right now, what I have, I have one of my shells. This is one of my smaller shells, scallop shells that I use. Uh, I have my resin poured. Of course, I tint my resin uh, the color of the water that I want to use. And then before I start painting, I just kind of um, draw in where I want my uh, fins to go. I do use an acrylic medium to thin my paints down. I like to use... Um, the Liquitex uh, blending, slow dry blending me medium. Uh, it just gives me a little more work time and allows me to blend the paint um, and also to get just a little bit of the, um, the lines of the fin on the fish before I start the next layer. So what I'm doing now, I'm starting with um, one of the fins on the outer edge and I'm just dragging my paint along and that just kind of creates the first little fin. Again, I'm thinning down my paint a little bit so I can do the other fin. And then I've got just a little bit too much um, paint on this. And I'm not, I don't really like how that looks. So the nice thing about painting on resin is that it's pretty forgiving. So if I make a mistake, I just take my paper towel and go back in and just wipe it off. And then I'm coming back in here um, in the same area with a little less paint uh, because I don't want um, too many lines in that at this time. Right now, before I start doing the detail, I'm just kind of laying in the white. Um, on the base of the, on the fins. And then I'm doing the same thing along the back. I get a lot of comments, uh, people wondering if this is real fish or if it's plastic, like a toy that I just paint and resin um, that I just put in the resin. Uh, some people um, want to know if it's sculpted. Um, I do all the painting myself on my fish. I do use um, polymer clay on occasions. If there's something that, like sometimes on my backgrounds, if I have a lot of area to fill in, I will use polymer clay. I do use re real shells in my backgrounds um, and real sand as well. And this one, I'm just painting a basic fish. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I've got my fins laid in. So, I'm going to take some paint, some white paint, thin down in my slow dry medium. And I'm just going to add that to the to where my body, the body of the fish is going to go. This is um, a fun process. I, I enjoy doing this very much. Um, to me, it's relaxing. Some people, not so much. It's, you know, and they say it's too much work, but I, I enjoy the process, and the main reason I enjoy the process is because I enjoy watching 
the the fish come to life and start forming um that three d look <clears throat> it's just it's just really cool just to watch each layer. The downside to painting in this manner is that it it's a five day process um so I have to let after this paint dries then I'll pour a thin layer of resin on top of this. And then once that resin cures, then I'll come back in tomorrow and start the, the next layer. And I'll, I'll video um, this fish as it progresses along. Um, now what I'm doing, I took a little bit of my darker color, which I'm mixing some a little bit of blue and a little bit of black together just to give me um, some of that shadow that I want along the side of the fish. I apologize for my dirty um, towel that I use, but um, I know it's not the prettiest thing to look at. So right now, I'm just adding in that shadow along the side of the fish. And I don't know if you can tell what I've done there. And then now I'm going to go back in and just add a little more highlight down the front. the top of the fish and just blend all those colors in together um, so it's nice and smooth <clears throat> I'm by no means a um, professional at this I have been teaching myself this method of painting for a couple of years now um, there's some really good YouTube videos out there. And I, I do recommend um, watching the videos. In fact, um, when I first saw this technique, I was just in awe. And I was like, I really want to learn how to do that, but I was so intimidated, um, and I just didn't give it a try. And then finally one day I got the courage up, and I have been teaching myself, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, to teach and learn and I learned something. I'll watch the same video over and over and each time I watch it, I'll, I'll learn something different. Um, now what I'm doing, I'm gonna take my heat, because i turn that off. I'm gonna use my heat gun to kind of speed up the drying of the paint. Um, that way I can add a little bit more detail um, without it lifting the paint up. And I've had this heat gun for eight or ten years. It's a complete wreck. I need to get a new one, but it works great. So I just have it taken the time or the money to go purchase another. I'm just drying it a little bit. Now, the next thing I do, I have some different size brushes. I have some um, really tiny brushes that you can barely see the hairs on. And I have um, thicker brushes. It's just a matter of what you like using. And um, I don't know. I've, I've flipped back and forth in my brushes. I don't have anyone in particular that 
stands out over another. So now what I want to do is to go back in and just add a little bit of detail. To the, the fins. I don't, I, at this point, I don't do a whole lot of detail. Something in my resin. Um, anyway, I, I don't add a lot of detail at this point. Mainly, it's just getting the the fish. It's kind of painted in there. And then tomorrow, when I come back in and I have the next layer of resin, um, you'll be able to, and I start adding more detail, you'll start seeing more progression. Again, like I said, if you mess up or you don't like how the paint's going on, just wipe it off and start over again. Um, Okay, so that's the first layer of the fish. Again, all of my fish, crabs. Um, I don't know if you've seen the dragon I've done. Um, all, all of my work is done in the same manner. Depending on how large the, the piece is, of course, the longer it's going to take. Um, but uh, I, I really enjoy this and you know, give it a try sometime. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact me at deannasartcreations.com uh, on Facebook. Um, and I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. The one thing I'm going to leave you with is when you're working in with resin, please make sure that you use um, a mask and gloves uh, and have really good ventilation in the area that you're going to be pouring the resin. Um, safety's the, the most importance. So please, when using any kind of um, resin or other chemicals, please use your face mask and wear gloves. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Um, I hope I didn't do too badly, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you so you can see how I start painting my fish. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you. Night.